Hello, my name is Fredio Salmoni Mujege from Educare Tanzania. I'm a history two teacher of advanced level. We are proceeding with our topic which is the lives of democracy in Europe. So welcome to this session to proceed with our topic. Remember in the last session we ended on the contribution of French Revolution to the lives of democracy in Europe. So today we are going to see the last subtopic or in our, in our topic which is the 1848 revolutions. What is the definition of the 1848 revolutions. These were the series of revolutions organized by the European masses to bring changes on political, social and economic affairs by removing the conservative autocratic regimes in their respective countries. It means that these were the series of revolutions which were conducted by the European masses to to, to bring the changes in political, economic, and social affairs by throwing the conservative autocratic regimes which were existing in various European nations. And the 1848 revolutions took place almost in the whole continent of Europe except in Russia and in Britain. It means that these 1848 revolutions were took place in almost almost European nations, except two nations, which was Russia and Britain. Let us see in France, revolution erupted on 22nd February 1848, where followers of voting right and the socialists led by Louis Blanc overthrown King Louis Philippe. In German, the revolution erupted in between 15th to 21st March in 1848 to overthrow Frederick William IV by rebels. And in Austria, the revolution overthrew Clemency von Metternich in March, in March 1848. So these were, these are the examples of. 1848 revolutions. There, there are many, many, many examples of these revolutions, but I have mentioned a few. So, after looking at the definition and some examples of 1848 revolutions which were happened in Europe, let us see the causes of that revolution. The, the first cause was the Vienna Settlement or Congress of 1815. It means that the Vienna settlement was conducted in Austria, in the city of Vienna, whereby the autocratic rulers decided to give the foreign domination in various European nations. It means that the autocratic rulers given the European nations to be dominated by foreign rulers under the the Kremens von Metanik in of Austria. So many European countries experienced the foreign domination that led to the loss of freedom of European masses. So that angered the majority of Europeans to wage on revolutions. Another cause was the role played by the socialists for example, Karl Marx and the Frederick Engels. It means that the law prayed by socialists were inspired the European masses to wage on their revolutions. For example, the socialist ideas which were published by Karl Marx and the Frederick Engels were inspired much the European masses or majority to get socialist ideas on making or waging on revolutions to overthrow the autocratic leaders. Another cause was the influence of French Revolution of 1789. It means that the influence of French Revolution to the 1848 revolution in Europe 
was through the advocating of advocating of three democratic principles which were equality for all men before the law fraternity for the brotherhood and the and the liberty for everyone to wish as they wish to live in the society so due to this the contribution of french revolution which was accompanied by other pillars like the freedom of worship freedom of speech and the freedom of press these were all inspired the europeans or european masses to wage on the revolution in respective countries another cause was the question of liberalism it means that majority of european countries were demanded the democratic and the constitutional governments which will care over the citizens of the of the european nation so those peasant and the workers as well as the people who had the good who had good dreams for their nations decided to wage on the revolutions to remove those autocratic leaders another cause was the outbreak of epidemic disease and the bad weather it means that the outbreak of epidemic diseases and the bad weather led to the 1848 revolutions in europe for example the outbreak of diseases like typhoid cholera cholera and plague it means that these were examples of epidemic diseases which were outbreak in Europe. So the existing government failed to combat those diseases and then and hence the masquering of people occurred. Thus the majority of people become angry with the existing government and decided to overthrow that rule. So those were these were the causes of 18 48 revolutions in Europe. After looking at the causes, let us see the contribution of Vienna Congress to the outbreak of 1848 revolutions. Vienna Congress was the, the amongst of the of the causes of 1848 revolutions. So let us see its contribution. The first was it abused the principle of nationalism. It means that after the, 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 the Vienna Congress that was held in Australia, in the city of Vienna, led the, it, it came up with the decision that all European nations must be under the foreign domination, especially under Kremens von Metani. So you can see that many European nations came under the leadership of Metanis. That was, was ruled or governed by the autocratic principles and, and did not give the freedom to the people. So this led to the outbreak of 1848 revolutions in Europe. Another, it, it created an equal balance of power. It means that, it means that Vienna Congress created an equal balance of power whereby the, the, Napoleonic, the Napoleonic possessions were unequal distributed. For example, France are not given any Napoleonic possession and German were given few possessions that led to those countries to wage on the revolutions in their countries due to the discontent done discontent which they get from the results of Vienna Congress. Another, another contribution was the Congress restored unpopular autocratic and conservative regimes. It means the Vienna Congress 
decided to restore unpopular autocratic and conservative re regimes which were existing in the previous time. So, after the conduction of that Congress led to the majority of uh, European nations to be angry, to be angry with the existing government and the decision of Vienna Congress hence led to the outbreak of 1848 revolution. For example, the Babonic dynasty in France was restored. Another contribution, it provided heavy punishment to friends and allies. It means that Vienna Congress provided heavy punishment to friends and allies like Belgium and Saxon. So these were the, the supporters of friends. So we are punished every during the Vienna Congress whereby those nations lost their possessions and where those possessions those those possession were distributed or divided to other European nations, especially foreign domination under, under Clemens von Metternich of Australia. Another contribution, it delayed the Italian and the German unification. It means during the whole process of Italian and the German unification, the Vienna Congress supposedly or restored the foreign domination in those respective countries in Italy and Germany, that action that led to the delay of unification of those nations, smaller states. So you can see the delay of Italy and the German unification led to the those majority people in those nations to wage on the 1848 revolutions. After looking on the contribution of Vienna Congress to the outbreak of 1848 revolutions, let us see the common features of 1848 revolutions. It means that those revolutions had the common features. The first one was they featured with reaction against the Vienna Congress. It means all, all Vienna, all, all revolutions which were took place in Europe, all were directly to react against the Vienna Congress decisions which were made during that Congress. Another, they were urban-centered revolutions. It means that these all 1848 revolutions were done in urban centers, like in Paris, in Piedmont, and other urban cities or in other towns. Another feature was they were short-lived. It means all revolutions were occurred in, the, in one year of 1848. So those, you can see those revolutions were short-lived and not long-lived. Another was all reacted against the side effects of the Industrial Revolution. It means that those 1848 revolutions were we are concerning to react against the effects of the industrial revolution whereby the industrial owners and, the, and autocratic rulers were exploiting the peasants and workers through low wages, long working, crashy, low, long working hours and poor working conditions. So these were all reaction against the side effects of those industries which were established in respective countries in Europe. Another feature was all lacked the military assistance. This was because all revolutions was, were occurred on the same time. So no any country could go and assist his or affair because every country was in the in the continuing with his or a revolution. So the military assistance would lack during that revolutions. The last one or the last feature was they were organized by intellectuals. 
It means that 1848 revolutions were much organized and perpetrated by intellectuals. For example, Hungary by Louis Kothuth, who was a lawyer, journalist, and a poetic. Oh, sorry, poet, not poetic, poet. It means Louis Kothuth was a lawyer, journalist, and poet. So you can see how he organized the means these 1848 revolutions were organized by intellectuals. After looking the con the common features of 1848 revolutions, let us see the reasons for failure of 1848 revolutions. The first failure or reason was economic hardship factor. Sorry. Addiction factor. It, ima it means that during 1848, the economy of the respective countries were hard, or they had the economic slum due to the previous economic crisis which were facing European nations. Another reason for failure it was lack of reliable readers during the revolutions. Readers were not reliable and were not permanent. So some readers were escaped after proving failure. So the revolutions possibly could fail. Another reason for failure, it was division among the revolutionaries. It means that some of the majority were the supporter of the Catholic Church and the other were the major were the supporter of pro Protestant church, so it was difficult to to, to wage on the revolution when there is dif different in ideology of believing. So this was happened in in German under the under the the domination of foreign leader Metanik von Kremens or Kremens von Metan. Another reason for failure of 1848 revolutions was the lack of effective mobilization. As I have told you that for 1848 revolutions was done in urban areas, so the rural areas lacked or were not involved in the in the revolutions. So led to the lack of effective mobilization of the majority people who were present in rural areas. Another was poor standing army of the revolution. It means that the revolution leaders lacked the standing army for fighting during the revolution. So proved the failure of those revolutions. Another was the lack of support from their national armies. It means that the armies before that revolution, so these revolutions were under the autocratic rule or leaders. So armies were, were difficult to support the revolutionaries to, to overthrow the existing rulers. So this was another reason for the failure of 1848 revolution. And the last reason was the effect of epidemic diseases and the bad weather. It means that the outbreak of epidemic diseases like cholera, malaria, and the plague were, were affected much the, the revolutionaries to aid the revolutions in their nations. And the bad weather, for example, rainfall and high temperature could affect those revolutionaries and fail to conduct the revolutions in a good way or in a peaceful way. So these were the reasons for failure of 1848 revolutions. This is the end of our topic. So there is one question here as an exercise. It is stated that show the contribution of 1848 revolutions to the lives of democracy in Europe. So just ask yourself and discuss it in groups or yourself. So this is the end of our topic. Thank you.
for being with me until the end. So let us meet in the next session. Thank you.